All right, I want to show you how to find the probability using norm CDF. Let's read this question. It says, assume the random variable X is normally distributed with mean mu equal 50 and standard deviation sigma equal 7. Compute the probability. Be sure to draw a normal curve with the area corresponding to the probability shaded. All right, so we're trying to find this probability. The way we read this is the probability that X is in between 35 and 60. It's important to note that we're dealing with a normally distributed random variable. That's why we can use norm CDF. And this is on our calculator, TI-84, TI-83. And um, notice that we're gonna pick this graph here because it's saying between 35 and 60. So we want this graph here. You guys should know how to graph that. And the answer is not 0.7602, it's 0.907. But I'm gonna show you how to find that. So you pull up your calculator. You're gonna have to go to seconds. There's a button that says VARS. Then on the top, it says distribution. So you're gonna click second, then distribution. All right, second, distribution. And then on the very top, we have norm PDF and norm CDF. Never use norm PDF, we're gonna use norm CDF. So click that. So what we're gonna plug in now to this thing is like this, norm CDF lower limit, upper limit, mean and standard deviation. So that's what we're gonna plug those four things in. The lower limit is 35 comma 60 for the upper limit comma 50 for the mean remember we have the mean is 50 and the standard deviation is 7 so we can put 50 comma 7 and that's it and you get your 0 0.907 all right so that's how i got 0 0.907 that's it so dance, that's it. Me breaking your heart, no chance. Keep it classy, cause it's so crispy and clean. I can be your king and you can be my queen. We can do it right and live happily, possibly. You could be the one for me.